Yes, that title is accurate. It was 15 years since I last played this game. Well, the original of it. I'd managed to actually calculate how long it's been. I can't believe I've done that. But yeah, just to inanimate to say that, how much I'm really excited to be playing this, the full game. I don't want to waste any more time, let's go. I will say though, that I will skip ahead straight past the stuff that I've done in the demo unless things have changed because I don't want to bore you guys with the same content from the demo. If there's anything different I'll be sure to show you but for now I'm just going to skip ahead after the demo where we got to. I also do like that it has the different option for the music like we can actually mute le have legal streaming music only so it's great for us streamers and youtubers so thank you for that. Well I've done all the missions in Albion which is what we managed to do in the demo aside from the odd job which I'll be doing that shortly but before I do that I wanted to check out what this Cydopox thing is I'm not sure what this is this just appeared after I finished the mission on the guns of Alcatraz I managed to destroy the island so I don't know what this is just want to check it out quickly no location available Alibon sensors indicate fog brolly required oh god so it's just a thing to tell us about the new location the navcom basically oh yeah i managed to find one of the artifacts that's good down there and i don't know what the other collectible is i think it's a cd as far as i remember but yeah i'll be on there's the gene blend upgrades i can get from there so but before i head to albion there's a couple of things i've got to do here um like i said i saw that um odd job there so i'll be doing that i won't be recording that because like i said done it in a demo but there is another one that's available our first arc foodle cult I've got to check that out. Well, I managed to do that odd job once again. Again, it was very, relatively straightforward. Thank God for that. Uh, more odd jobs have now started to appear on for Base City. That's cool. So, but I got to do the Ark Voodoo cult because I just, you know, it's Ark Voodoo, Lord of the Sacred Crotch Man. <laughs> but uh, before I do that, I wanted to check out what happens if I destroyed the bridge this time. Because if you remember in the demo, it just kind of didn't work. It's a bit of a shame. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> so let's see what happens this time. There we go. Now that's what it's supposed to look like. Hell yeah. I knew that it was just a demo thing. What the hell just happened down there? You know, i got to say I'm really impressed so far because all, all the problems I encountered in the demo have not appeared yet. So I know there's been reports of glitches, but so far for me, everything's been good. Now let's spread the word of the sacred crotch. The cult of Ark Voodoo. Hey man, what can I do you for? I think it's just the same as before. Dialogue boxes, I think. Yep, gotta grab the specific human. And we've also gotta do a clean snatch as well. Oh jeez, okay. Can we use some um, thingy free love goggles in disguise? Yes we can, thank god for that. Clean snatch. Whoa, whoa. Oh yes. Behold the son of Ark Poodle. Just drops like that. Far out, man! Far out! Count us in, yeah! New coat in town. Seeking prey. Oh, come on, man. It's Ark Food. <gasps> Is that Ark Food all there? Quite easy ones. I love how this has to perform a clean snatch option objective for that. Free love pancakes. Yes to Ark Food. Hey, look, it's Ark Food. That's, that's what Ark Food looks like this time. That's kind of cool. Apparently there's a photo mode. Look at that. Oh wow, that's so cool. Alright, so that was an Ark Voodle mission. Glad it's just going to be the same as before. That's so cool. Uh, I might take a stab at the Gene Blender maybe in a sec. And uh, obviously, oh wait, I've got to check out Albion first. Because we didn't manage to go there last time. See if there's anything to transition between the places. But I also do like the ability that uh, we can still replay missions thing that was much missed in the original version and not only that but it seems to be you can replay everything as well like even the odd jobs and all that so that's cool 
I imagine that we'd have to get an achievement to do every optional objective, but I'm not sure if it'll be for odd jobs or everything. So, but this is cool. This is good. It's a good way to keep track of uh, everything. So, um, yeah, I'm glad that ability to replay missions is there as well. So of course, we've got the saucer skins and whatnot. I kind of just like the default version of the saucer, though. I really don't like to change that. Okay, so we haven't done a gene blender yet, so I'll track this one before we head off and see what I can do about that. So does it get selected? If tracking a gene blender world collection, the progress is found here. Okay. I wish that kind of a thing was available. Oh wait, you can select it while you're in the saucer? I swear you couldn't do that before. That's so useful, thank god for that. And the pox mark. And the nerve con, even when you're taken off. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, I wonder what happens when I get the anti grav field. Alright, the slurp master. Once the slurp master comes up, then we can actually see the things. I also like that how it kind of works this way as well. You don't have to point it straight down. It looks better that way, but I like it this way too. the mass abduction. It kind of reminds me of the, how you abduct people in Path of the Furon, actually. Actually, speaking of Path of the Furon, something I noticed as well is if you damage buildings. Look, they all come out of the buildings. I swear that was a feature that was in Path of the Furon as well. Okay, let me cloak a second. Yeah, look, now you can just mass abduct them. That was 100% a Path of the Furon thing. Does this mean that we would be getting a Path of the Furon remake? I have a lot to say about that if that's the case, but I don't know. Okay, soldiers are done. Now to find the police. Okay, at least that abductor beam works. The Slurp Master technically is a weapon, so you can't use it cloaked, but uh. It's just a bit thing to remember that the Slope Master and the Doctor Beam are two different things now, so... Oh, there's all the cops, they're just by the donut shop. Of course they are. Alright, that ability is up ready now. So I guess I've got to go into the uh, blender. Okay, so I've got that bit ready. Oh, blend, there we go. There. Yeah. Better psychokinesis, so I'm guessing just the next part of that becomes available when we get to the next location, wherever that may be. Speaking of which, let's travel to Albion and see what happens here. Good old England. I do like the posters going to the new location. I don't know if it could be a bit spoilerish with the creatures on the left. Well, we made it just here. I do kind of miss the transition um, cinematic though. I like. Although it did take make it for a long loading screen, it was kind of cool. But I'll be on a last. We'll be on with this. We'll be on with the next story mission, and uh, yeah, anyway, things go from here.